Jesus. He's lying to you. He's lying to you. Stated that the school was renovated and completed. I'm on foot, as you can see. I'm in the, I'm in the hood. It has not been renovated. I'm going to get up here and give you all a tour of FDMG. Nothing's been done here. Look at the door. He said the sprinkler system was taken care of, right? He said the sprinkler system was done. That's the sprinkler door. No new stickers, nothing. Let's walk on around here. See, this is my hood. I'm not worried about him coming out here G-checking me. This is my hood. But this is a dangerous place. These are the same windows. Remember, he crying about the windows. Look like the crack kids trying to get in. I don't know if you can see his spider webs in those windows. Those are the same windows that was here when it was Maurice Moyer Academy. Crack kids getting in there, look like. Same shit. It's all boarded up. He's done nothing. Dirty school, man. He hasn't done anything out here. He doesn't have the money to do it. He doesn't have the know-how to do it. And he doesn't accept the help to get this done. Everything's still the same. Warrior Academy. But he hasn't done anything out here, man. Don't y'all people keep sending him y'all money, wasting y'all money. Nothing's been done. He told you the school renovations were done two months ago in October, in August. Those renovations have not been done. Nobody's been out here working on these buildings. He's lying to you. He's lying to you. Stated that the school was renovated and... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's talk about the FDMG child. I think that's what it is. Now, listen, I'm going down there. In September 2024, y'all, it's only nine months away. The school is going to open that's what Dr. Umar said. We heard it for ourselves. I'm going down there. I'm going to be live and in person, even in the hood, in the daytime, of course. But I'm just saying, okay? So this person went on down there to Wilmington, Delaware, and they showed the school. It was a former school of something else. So that's a good thing, actually, right? It was already a school. You don't have to start from scratch. All you got to do is renovate and put some things in place. Here's the problem, as far as I am concerned. If this man has been looking since, I think someone says 2014, hold on, let me see. This is from Black Wealth, Black Wealth Renaissance. Their caption reads, Dr. Umar has been raising money since 2014, so 10 years, for the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, which has a projected opening date set for September 2024. See, we all on the same page. We all on the same page. The current state of the school does not suggest that this is a possibility. What are your thoughts on the situation? So we've asked this question when we did this live stream on Dr. Umar, you know, whenever we did it, right? Some of you have uh, uh, said that it structurally is not going to be done in time. Those that are engineers said it's not going to be done in time. Um, even people's spouses had commented and said he's full of it. It's not going to be open by September 2024. All right. Now, here's the thing. If you went and you bought a school in order to open it as a school, how much longer would it take in order for you to start from the ground up as opposed to just taking something that's already structurally in place? I'm going to have to agree with this person that's making this video right now. The odds are, the odds are, the odds are, and my Dr. Umar, is that the daggone thing ain't going to be open. Now, listen, me personally, I think it's a bunch of sure honey iced tea, of course, but I know that there's people out here who believe in Dr. Umar, and they want to think that he's doing so good for the community. Oh, my God. He's doing everything possible to help black people in the black community because pros don't think. Okay? Someone just tells them something that makes them feel good and they all good in the hood with it. Then we'll turn around talking about, what is it, D1, uh, FBA, and whatever the hell else the uh, acronyms are. And then don't use any part of what's between your ears and that's your brain to think about something for a second. Y'all, it doesn't take 10 years to build a house. Even when you're building a house from the ground, the F up, it does not take 10 damn years. Now, this man wants to sit up here and let y'all say or tell y'all that it's because he's only using black people finance. And so what that tells me, if we're just going to go ahead and go with that logic, right, is that black people are not supporting it. 
black people will sit around here and talk about how they for blacks they want black b1 fba and all that other stuff but you won't donate money as a black person to a black man who's trying to open a black school for your black kids so so where's that part at for those pros where is that part at how come no one's talking about that from that perspective where are all the donations from the fraternities and the sororities, the HBCUs that Dr. Umar always wants to talk about? Where are they money at? Why aren't they not donating? Why are they not giving any of those colleges? Hell, uh, uh, I don't know, the celebrities, I guess. The black celebrities that believe in black, Black Lives Matter, black, 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 black. Why isn't Dr. Umar going to Black Lives Matter? Why isn't Black Lives Matter donating since Black Lives Matter made all that daggone money because they care about black lives, just not your black ass kids before they get gunned down. They don't care before then, only after your kids is gone. I mean, I think that's a valid point, but you all don't want to look at stuff like that. Nope, 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 nope. You just want to go and blame white supremacy, discrimination, racism, and this has absolutely nothing to do with white people in any way, shape, or form. Now, mind you, Next point, Dr. Umar could just go ahead and go to a daggone bank, a local bank at that, and get himself a daggone loan, if he qualifies, of course, to go ahead and open up this daggone school. But for some reason, he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to go to the white man. He don't want to go to the white people. So instead of going where you can get the daggone funds, especially given everything that has happened since 2020 and the fact that so many places wanted to previously anyway, I'm not really sure about now, I'm trying to scope it out, but previously... They wanted to toss money at black people like there wasn't no daggone tomorrow to absolve themselves and to feel better about everything that has been done for them. I'm sorry, done to them in in light of, uh, what is his name? Um, George Floyd. They was tossing it all out, tossing it up, tossing it up like they was at a strip damn club. Dr. Umar did not take advantage of that either. Let all that opportunity go. Now it's all been snatched back. Cool. That's that. Third, and most importantly, we're going to look at these comments, child. Because the first one says, well, grab a hammer and get to work, Mr. So Concerned. So, shaming language, anyone? This person, instead of directing what the heck it is that he has been talking about, they would rather attack the person that's given the information from the person who actually made you the promise. So instead of being upset with the person who actually made the promise, you're upset at the person who's reporting it. Now, I forgot to... um read this caption here. It says, Dr. Umar is under fire for his FDMG Academy not being completed after accepting donations for over 10 years. This school has not been renovated. He's lying to you. So first of all, we've seen it. Dr. Umar showed it in his video. He even showed us the inside. And then this person here, this video is as of six days ago, has shown it as well. So it sounds like that he's in the daggone area and he can show and tell you that ain't nothing changed. So people who have this mentality of blaming the messenger, you're part of the problem because you can't even think for your daggone self to see what is actually going on for whatever your reasons are. So you sound like you can be a, listen, whoever want to be a supporter of Dr. Umar, be a supporter of Dr. Umar. Honestly, I don't care. Y'all want to throw money at him. Y'all want to toss money down the toilet. You want to throw it overboard. Have the F at it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. OK, because everybody got a right to take their money and use it the way that they want to legally. OK. At the end of the day, the rest of us who can see or want to see it in a different perspective, it's OK for us to do that as well. But we can't because y'all want to sit up here and try to act like we going against the black code. There is no black code. Let me let me let y'all know there is no black code, because if the code was black, the school would have been built. If the code was black, the school would have been built. It does not take 10 years for a school that's already built, just needs to be renovated. And anyone who believes that it does need it, you are part of the problem. And that's why so many people have these scams that's going on with black people on black people because y'all just believe any old thing just because somebody is black. That's how you end up with Brandon. What's his name in Chicago? Brandon, what's his name in Baltimore and all the rest of them because you vote based on race. You vote based on how you feel instead of what's best in your interest. Oh, nobody cares about black people. None of those people care about black people. Well, then that's where you shall say stay then you should have no opinion. 
because clearly you don't vote. So why even have an opinion on something that you're not even going to participate in? Because don't nobody like black people anyway. You're the people that are in this comment section making comments like this, letting someone who is clearly, obviously, allegedly accepting money for 10 damn years and has absolutely nothing to produce from it, but happens to always be over on this island, be on this country, be over here, over there, over there and everywhere. But y'all still willingly ready to give up your money in the hopes of you going to see some dag on school which rem which mind you ain't your kids ain't gonna go there your kids ain't, is it overnight because unless you live in delaware or maybe pennsylvania your kids ain't going there any daggone way you flying them in for the week child this don't make no damn sense next comment y'all quick to say someone lying when we know economically black people don't stick together like we should you mean like you ma'am you mean like you ma'am why is she why is she not directing this to all why is she not directing this to all the people that have already donated and say, do y'all check in on your funds? Do y'all check in on your investments? Because honestly, at the end of the day, what you've done by giving this man money for the school is invested. Y'all not even bright enough to understand and know that you need to check on your investments. You just toss money at anything and be like, oh, it's all good. It's okay. You know, you do have the right to ask questions when you invest in something. But child, let me go ahead and move on because y'all not going to listen. Next one says, how can we collectively help? This is the only thing that concerns me. Hmm. Call Dr. Umar. I'm sure he'll be glad to tell you to send a cash app. Send a cash app. Instead of going and blindly giving money to this man, maybe you should ask for some plans. Maybe you should ask to see the architecture and what the renovations are going to look like and who actually is working on it. Y'all require nothing. Y'all require nothing. This is the exact same thing as hiring or I'm sorry, as voting for all these people just because they black. That's the only thing. And y'all know deep down inside, you know damn well that that does not work most of the damn time with regard to anything. Because you know, just like somebody just said, that black people will do black people wrong before first and foremost before anybody else. Y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. Y'all ask for proof of nothing. And if that's how you act when it comes to something like this, then that's why someone like Taraji P. Henson is making $150,000 for a movie after 30 years in the daggone business. Because you just go along with someone just because they black and knowing damn well you scared to say anything to the white people. Say I'm lying. Say I'm lying. The next comment says, my thoughts are, I wonder what the dude recording this video is doing for his community. See, deflection deflection there is no course correct no critic no critical thought on anything when it comes to any black person it's not even just women at this point it's anybody black because black people do everything right and yet most of the time most of it is wrong she see here she says black people will try and expose each other on the internet all day without doing a damn thing themselves what does that have to do with anything what, what, what does that have to do with anything? How is this tearing the man down to ask him what happened to the school in 10 years? Like I said, it don't take you that long to build a damn house, not even a damn mansion. And then when you ask questions, which black people don't do, this is how you get scammed and taken in and no results being produced because you would rather make it easier for said black person. The problem with black people is black people. Y'all don't want to admit it. That's fine. Y'all don't want to see it. That's cool. Y'all don't want to understand what it is that you're saying. This makes no sense whatsoever. These will be the same people talking about if someone says, oh, you should send me some money for, I don't know, child. Just say, I'm opening up a McDonald's. What are you looking for this for? What are you asking for money for us for? We got inflation. We got to pay the bread. We got to pay the milk and all that foolishness. We can't afford our bills. Remember how they turned on... Oh, could some of y'all even turned on Oprah and um and the rock for that crap in Hawaii where it was, why don't you give the money? Why don't y'all give the money? Why don't y'all get the money? Why don't y'all get the money? Why don't y'all get the money? You you thought that Oprah and The Rock should give up all their money for all of Hawaii. Y'all thought that all of Hawaii should have been taken care of by Oprah and uh The Rock, which was half damn crazy. 
They freaking donated and they asked for additional donations and y'all had a fit. Y'all really got a problem when it comes to hearing Oprah's name too. And that's a problem as well. This ain't got nothing to do with trying to help. And even the people of Hawaii had an issue. But you know what? I don't live in Hawaii, so they can have the daggone issue. They the one that need the daggone help. But it's interesting to me that it's not okay for Oprah and The Rock to request donations to help people after a na after disaster. I don't know if it was national, but after a disaster, which everyone saw, you come up with all these uh, conspiracy theories when it comes to that. But y'all believe Dr. Uma. Child, I'm done with this because if black people want to be dumb, I'm going to let them. We're going to watch them. We're going to talk about it. We're going to laugh. We're going to judge. That's it. That's all. Go ahead and subscribe to this daggone channel. Like the daggone video and comment. i see you all in the next one. We do not care.